Hello everyone and welcome to a new video on my channel. I'm Adam and today I'm doing Battle of the Beast All Generation episode number 15. Uh, just double checking. Yep, it says 15. And this is the first video I'm recording where Lucas is back to editing my videos. Uh, welcome back Lucas. Um, from what you told me, your personal matters have not been sorted out completely yet. But due to dedication to the fans, um, you decided to come back and help out with this. So, thank you for that. Um, you didn't have to do that. I actually wasn't expecting you to help out until you actually got us all sorted out. Uh, but yeah, thank you for coming back. And uh, this is my saying thank you for helping me for the rest of the tournament. Um, because it's going to be over 100 battles. <laughs> and a fair few battles in round one. Okay, so for um, today's uh, battles, um, we have two relatively okay beasts. One I like way more than the other. Um, but I'm not really uh, sure how I can do a battle with these. But I've, I don't even know which one could win. Um, so, representing Series 4, the Amulet of Avantia, book number one is Nixa, the Deathbringer. And, on the other side... Representing series 9, the Warlock Staff, book number 2, and also book number 50, Minos the Demon Bull. And now, uh, the new thing with the stats department is that um, Lucas and Impus will be um, uh, just um, giving the strengths and, and the abilities of each beast, as well as their bio and the stats stuff. Whilst all I'm going to be doing is... Um, I'm going to be just listing down their weaknesses and the battlefield and also <laughs> where they're going to be fought. So um, this is going to be a bit of a weird thing for me to do uh, because um, we're, this is like a tester to see uh, if um, the whole plan for what I just said is going to work. And I'm hoping it does. I'm sure it will, but it's just going to take some getting used to. Luckily, I've got a whole tournament ahead of me to practice this. So with that, um, so uh, I don't even know who's saying what, uh, who's saying which beast. So uh, let's get to the stats. Nixa, the Deathbringer. Many people do not know they have crossed paths with Nixa until it is too late, for the beast can adopt any disguise that she wishes. This is how she lures the nomads of the Dead Valley to their deaths. Nixa may be terrifying, but she does have a weakness. She cannot bear to look at her own hideous true form. Now onto her stats. Ghost form, voice mimicry, wind breath, shape-shifting, which also creates weapons that go with her foe when assuming their forms, limited levitation, and tentacles make her one deadly opponent in the tournament. Minos, the demon bull. Minos was once a calm and gentle bull who grazed the fields of Seraph when Marvel's minion Petra fed him magical poison seeds. This kind creature transformed into the demon bull. Cruel spikes jutted from its hooves and twisted horns sprouted from its head and nose. They were sharp enough to tear a person down to shreds. Now onto his stats. Sharp horns, clued hooves, mace tail for grabbing and attacks. Furry thick hide can ignore several of Eleanor's arrows. Quick change direction, foul stinking steam which can spread black steamy smoke around him. Now, let's see how he does in the tournament. Three, two, one! Let's get to the fight. Thank you, Lucas and Impus, or just Lucas, or also just Impus. I do not know. Okay, uh, Nix's weaknesses are not really that bad, actually. Uh, she she can't bear to look at her, her ugly form, which is what she considers as this. So she can't bear to look at that in a mirror or a reflection. Her other weakness is also a weakness to sound. So if it's like um metal or rock being scraped uh and if she's exposed enough to it it she will explode uh which will obviously kill her minos's uh weaknesses uh consists of a severable tail so the tail can be chopped off and um 
then that's one less uh, weapon on Minos to worry about. And reversion, when Minos is reversed back to a regular bolt, Minos is defeated when he's reversed and it when Minos is re defeated, he reverts back to a regular bull. But yeah, that's uh, Nix of us Minos. The battlefield will be a plain rocky terrain area. And I'm saying that because Nixa uh, is not weak to sunlight. Um, so that would be okay for me to use a sunny battlefield-ish. And Minos is fought on a farm, so I don't need to double check that. But uh, yeah. So as the chamber doors open, Minos um, stampedes out and into the centre of the arena, glaring around, looking for his opponent. Um, and he sees on the other side of the arena, not Nixa, but what looks like a figure just walking out. She recogni Minos recognises this figure to be the shepherdess which raised Minos um, when he was only a young calf. Um... Minos, however, filled with um, uh, enchantment power, uh, charges straight towards the shepherdess. Um, and when the shepherdess realizes that this one's going to attack, what uh, the shepherdess does, which is actually Nixa, she opens her mouth and sends a torrent of wind coming from her mouth which uh, causes a giant dust pile to appear from the ground and also stops Minos in his tracks, blowing him uh, with enough force to stop him from st stampeding. Uh, when the dust is cleared, the shepherdess is gone and uh, Minos is looking around, trying to find anything peculiar. Nixa has actually um, shapeshifted herself into another version of Minos which is right behind him. When Minos eventually notices this other version, um, uh, standing at the other end of the arena, they both stand staring each other down. One uh, stamps their hoof in the ground, challenging them to a duel. The other accepts by doing the same thing. And they charge up towards each other with their heads bucks ready to do it. But Nixa, being the dirty fighter she is, um... She uh, she goes intangible, so then uh, Minos runs right through her. She reverts back to normal, and using her whip that um, is on uh, Nix's Minos form, so the tail whip, so using the tail whip that Minos has, Nix uh, uses her own one, which because she shapeshifted into Minos, to wrap around Minos's back legs and trip him up and pull him towards her. Nixa reverts back to her normal self with her tentacle wrapped around um, Minos. And uh, using her rest of her tentacles, she wraps them around um, Minos, just trying to suffocate him. So that's uh, covering up his uh, nostrils and his uh, mouth so he can't breathe. Minos is... Um, just struggling to try and get free, and using his horns after he bucks his head up, he actually stabs Nixa in the gut. Nixa, in retaliation, um, shapeshifts part of her body, like one of her tentacles, into a sword, and stabs it right into Minos's chest, and uh, keeps stabbing repeatedly. Uh, well, not really a sword, let's say a uh, dagger, let's say. Minos... Uh, growls or in frustration and pain uh, to where they both release their grip on each other and just stare down at each other. Minos um, does the same thing with his hoof, challenging Nixa to a duel. Nick Nixa accepts the duel and charges up towards Minos as Minos stampedes towards her. Nixa dives out of the way and using one, one of her tentacles, she wraps it around one of Minos' front hooves and trips him up again. Minos has fallen into the same trap again. However, this time, Nixa is not going to give Minos the benefit of the doubt. She shapeshifts herself into... Um, uh, hold on. She shapeshifts herself into a beast, uh, which affectionately goes by the name of Silver. And using the giant cl razor-sharp claws that's on Silver, 
she digs them into Minos's uh, chest and starts tearing um, the insides of Minos up to shreds. Slicing the back of his legs, slicing his neck, slicing his back. Minos can't really do anything. He tries to lift his tail to hit Nixa, but Nixa saw that coming and using one of the claws just slashed through Minos's tail, severing it. Minus' body becomes lifeless and the blue flames in his eyes start to fade away. Nixa has won. Minos has lost. I may have had too much fun with the shape-shifting abilities Nixa has, but my word is final. If you think Minos should have won, please leave in the comments below why you think that. However, my word is final. With that being said, that's all for this time. If you like what you saw, leave a like, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe, press the notification bell down in the corner below, and I'll see you next time.